Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Betty, and I am getting ready to bake some chicken on Fawn Ridge. You've seen me do this plenty of times, but today we're just going to do a very simple way that you can make your baked chicken. So, I've already cleaned my chicken. It's already seasoned. You've watched me do that many times, so there's no need to watch me do that again. So, what we're going to do is, I need to finish draining the little um, juice that's on this chicken. It's not very much. I did season it overnight with all of my favorite seasonings, so I would suggest that you do that because we all cook different. So I do use Laurie seasoning, black pepper, lemon pepper, and I use some garlic with rosemary. Now what I'm going to do is I have some canola oil in this bowl, and I am going to brush it on my chicken. First, put the skin side up. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in the skillet. And then while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and put some on the back side. So when I turn it over, it's already ready. This is not going to cook my chicken. It is simply going to aid in the browning of my chicken. So when I put my chicken in, the, in my preheated oven, I have it preheated at 375. And then we'll go ahead and we'll bake this chicken for about, um, I would say maybe an hour and a half because I want it to be fully done inside. Meanwhile, I'll show you what I am going to do to get my chicken ready for baking. So let's go ahead, put it in a skillet. Make sure you add plenty of canola oil, just brush it on. Just take a brush. Put some in a bowl, brush it on your chicken, and simply let your chicken brown. I'll come back when this chicken is brown and ready to put in my pan. I'm cheating today, so I'm just using an aluminum pan so that my job will be made easy. When I come back, I'll show you what I am going to do to put my chicken in the oven. Right? You go ahead and make it a great day. This is Miss Betty, and she's cooking on fun with today. But she's cooking easy. Hey, everybody. I'm back. And I wanted you to see just how beautiful and brown my chicken is braising. It's only braised. And what I'm going to do is I have a layer of carrots. I'm sorry. Celery and onion. I said carrots because normally I will put some carrots in there if I have leftover carrots. And you probably could add whatever vegetables that you like. You can add potatoes. I am going to add carrots, but it's going to be a can of carrots um, because that's all I have today. And I will add that when my chicken is almost done. But what you do is you take the chicken and you're going to lay it on a bed of celery and onion. It has browned beautifully. So I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to lay it on my bed. Oh, look at that. That is simply gorgeous, guys. It is gorgeous. So when this chicken finished cooking in the oven, and I'll show you just one second here. All right, let's get that out the way. So look how pretty that is. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put this in the oven at 375 and I will let it brown until it is nice and tender. It's already pretty and brown, but I will put a tent over it because I don't want it to dry out. I want it to be just as pretty when I take it out the oven. So there are multiple ways that you can cook your baked chicken. Sometimes I use a flour mix and I will lightly flour my chicken. Today, I simply season it, I browned it, I added a little paprika on the top because that's how you get that beautiful brown look on your chicken. I glazed it in some oil, canola oil that I brushed on my chicken to give it this beautiful, beautiful brown glow. And now we will finish it in the oven. When it's done, I'll come back and I'll show you. Baking chicken is so easy and I bet you can do it. And it won't take very long. You can go back and watch TV while this is baking. I'll be back. 
Hey everybody, I'm back and my chicken is down to its last half hour. See how beautiful it is. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take a little canola spray and I'm gonna spray this over my chicken. I'm going to remove my tent. I'll add my carrots, mostly for decorations. This is canned carrots. So this is just going to give, oh, isn't that, see that gives that a beautiful, beautiful look. How about that? So that's pretty. That's my chicken. It's on its last half hour. I'll go ahead and let it get a little bit more golden brown. And my baked chicken is done. So you guys make it a great day. All right, everybody. I am back. And this is my final product um, of my baked chicken. Again, I did... Um, Season my chicken overnight with all of my favorite seasonings, and you can use yours also. I then rubbed it with canola oil, and I sauteed it, or I braised it on both sides to bring it to a beautiful golden brown. After which, I put it in the oven and cooked for an hour and a half. You can do this also. The carrots I add for color, and this make a beautiful dish. Remember, there is more than one way to cook your chicken. So I would suggest that you use every way necessary to please your family. This is Miss Betty, and I have been cooking on Fawn Ridge, and you make it a great day. So today's Sunday dinner is simply simple. Nothing extravagant on today's Sunday dinner. Normally, I go through a lot of trouble and make... um. A lot of soul food, but today we're only going to have chicken and this wonderful, wonderful salad. You can just add whatever you like on your salad. Um, I'm going to add some onion and some beets to my salad. My husband don't like all that, so I just made plain green salad. So today's um, cooking on Fawn Ridge is showing you how to make a simple and beautiful Sunday dinner. It don't take long. This is Miss Betty and I have been cooking on Fawn Ridge.